Technical Analysis Made Easy, a starting place for new traders. No one wants a vacation to end or a winning streak at the blackjack table. But as they say, all good things must end. And the same can be said of trending markets. Over the years, traders have been developing tools that indicate when the trend is slowing down or about to end in reverse. These types of tools may provide insights into when to enter or exit positions. Momentum Understanding market behavior is more than just observing trend. Wouldn't it be nice to know if the trend could be stalling or even reversing? Measuring momentum, the rate at which price is changing, can give a trader insight into when the trend might end. Fortunately, there are plenty of momentum indicators to assist us with this task. In this video, we will look at the most common momentum studies, Relative Strength Index, RSI, Stochastics, Williams Percent R, and the Commodity Channel Index, CCI. RSI The most common momentum indicator used by traders is the Relative Strength Index, or RSI. This indicator compares the strength of moves on up bars versus down bars. The measure of the speed and strength of price action results in the trader's ability to determine if a market is overbought or oversold. Overbought refers to a future that is trading well above its recent average price, where buyers have pushed the price up to an unsustainable level. Oversold is the opposite of overbought. Oversold refers to a future that is trading well below its recent average price, where sellers have pushed the price down to a level attractive to buyers. The RSI is a bounded study ranging from 0 to 100, with thresholds of 30 and 70 used as the traditional oversold and overbought levels. When the RSI falls below 30, the underlying is said to be oversold, above 70, overbought. Note that a market can remain overbought or oversold for an extended period. When price moves below 70 or above 30, the trend could be changing and can be interpreted as a signal to buy or sell. Because RSI has the same scale regardless of the traded instrument's price, you can compare RSI values across multiple markets to get a sense of which markets are overbought, oversold, or neither, possibly consolidating. Stochastics The Stochastics Indicator is another popular tool that is used to understand a market's current momentum. The Stochastics first output, the percent %K line, is found by taking the difference of current price and the low over a look-back period, usually 14, and dividing by the difference of the highest high and the lowest low over the same period. In a downtrend, this value will be toward the lower end. The opposite is true in an uptrend. Like the RSI, it too is a bounded study with a scale of 0 to 100. The overbought and oversold levels are found at 80 and 20. A second line is called the percent %D line, which is a simple moving average of the percent %K line, usually a three-period SMA. This can act as a trigger line, meaning that when the percent %K crosses the percent %D line, you can anticipate a trend change. This is especially useful when these lines are in overbought or oversold territory. Williams percent %R Williams percent %R, named for its creator, Larry Williams, is very similar to the stochastic study. It is also a bounded study, but the range is 0 to negative 100. The measure is not from the close to the period low, but from the close to the period high. The overbought and oversold levels are negative 20 and negative 80. The interpretations are consistent with the stochastic study. Commodity Channel Index The Commodity Channel Index is a momentum indicator that is unique because it is not a bounded study like the indicators mentioned previously. The CCI measures the difference of the typical price, defined as the average of the high, low, and close for a bar, from its moving average, in terms of the mean deviation of that difference over a period of bars. The CCI is said to be overbought when it exceeds 100 
and oversold when it goes below negative 100. You may find that these levels may vary for different markets. In addition to trend reversal signals, when price falls below the overbought level or exceeds the oversold level, divergence between price and the CCI might indicate a situation where price will follow the trend of the indicator. Incorporating momentum indicators in your trading regimen is a smart way to understand the strength and direction of the current trend of a market. While you don't need all these momentum indicators on the same chart, finding the right combination that works for you requires experimentation and observation. Once you have the right indicator or indicators selected, you can complement them with other types of indicators, like trend, volume, or volatility indicators. Please check out the syllabus for videos explaining these valuable concepts. Thanks for watching.